Can I talk to Gaston? I have really held down myself. This is divine. I kind of want his sandwich now. Yes, that's what you need, Gaston. More padding on that fat ass of yours. I hope your heart gives out. Rene, <laughs> tsk, tsk. it's a little pleasure. Life doesn't need to be a, um, a struggle. <laughs> okay, I like Gaston. Uh... Hello, officer. How might I be of assistance on this fine day? Yeah, Roxanne is always good to watch, so if you guys aren't following her yet, you definitely should. Matter of fact, hold on a second. Let's give a couple of shout-outs here. There we go. And... There we go. And... If I can get my keyboard to cooperate... There we go. If I missed anybody, let me know. But yes, follow these people. Good people. Um, and I think I already shouted out the Bronte Marie if she's still around. There we go. I think I already did, but you get an extra. <laughs> right. How might I be of assistance to you? Well, what do you know about the dead man? Let me think. I heard someone was hanged and left on a tree for a week. But that's all I know, really. Yeah, you must have heard something. No, I'm sorry. And I really would like to assist. You are a good guy, officer. I can see that. I mean, I'm really not. I'm probably an asshole. Then help him, you wimp. You have <laughs> plenty of shoulder with the ghost caviar in the Union. Someone must know something. Okay, brain. He means caviar socialist. Ah. I wish I could, but I just don't know anything. I always keep my nose clean and don't gossip. Everyone knows and respects that. Okay. Odd. He doesn't seem to be lying, but there's something off here. Sounds like you're holding back. I'm not. I'm not even anyone. Hmm. Amnesia is a great way to remake ourselves and start anew. I mean, that's true. Of course he's holding back. His mouth is so full of union prick he can't even speak properly. Jesus. Can I at least finish my fucking sentence before you piss on it? Is that okay, René? I'm not anyone impotent in the union. I just know Evrard. Okay, how do you know Evrard? Everyone in Martinez knows the Claire brother. I taught this boy's human studies and history in the gymnasium. Hmm. Oh, I'm glad I got you to be doing that more often, Bathroom. I try to tune in as much as I can, but it's often that you're streaming when I'm not anywhere near my computer, but otherwise, you know, I'll try to drop by more often. Hmm. So he was a teacher. What do you know about history? You never witnessed history. Only heard about it years later, when it had already moved on. You don't know history. He's just rude. The old soldier mumbles something under his breath and turns to face the sea. Brian. There he stands, proud, rigid and alone, like a cracking marble statue. What an interesting phrase. What a prick. <laughs> the officer <laughs> was addressing me, not you, Capitaine. Where were we? Ah, excellent. Need to figure out how to edit my videos so I can cut out all the AFK time before uploading to YouTube. Well, Bathrobe, you can download like what I use. I think is Light Source. It's a it's a free video editor unless you're getting over seven seven twenty. I think. Um, but yes, if you if you don't mind just doing seven twenty p, which is honestly fine for what you're streaming. Um, then you can do it that way. If you want to buy it, it's fairly expensive. But it's a good way to actually learn how to do video editing without having to, you know, pay out the ass for it. Um, also, in OBS, in order to edit it, because it generally uh, records in MKV, 
you need to actually remux it into um oh what am i thinking of mp something can't remember which mp but one of the mp files oh sorry no it's uh light source It's actually fairly easy to learn, but it's got it's still it's still video editing, so it's gonna have a bit of a steep learning learning curve. Right, Brian, tell me more. Where were we? What a joyous way of putting it. Interesting. So, are you a, a union member? Oh, in many ways, yes. Like an honorary member, I attend meetings and parties, help with little things. Evrard, Edgar. And the older debarders all know me. Interesting. In many ways? Oh, yes. So you're not an actual member? Not in the technical sense. I don't have a vote or a membership card. But Evrard keeps me on the payroll. Just for the little things. Huh. So that's what it was before. Him hiding something. He tries to make it look like he's a big deal in the Union. And now the illusion is disintegrating before your and Rene's eyes. Wealth put, Drama. He doesn't know anything because no one tells him anything. He's an outsider. Thank you, Logic. Of course he's not a member. He's not a member of anything. I knew that. He's a Vezavain. Turns to where the wind blows and tries to look important. Harsh. I hate this socialist rabble. But even siding with them is better than living your entire life on defense. Never committing to anything. Pick a damn side already. Hmm. I mean, there is something to be said about that. Uh, what was that quote by Elie Wiesel? Um, one must always choose sides as... What was that? Being indecisive supports only the oppressor, never the oppressed. Something along those lines. Good stuff. Met him once. Uh, what are the little things you do for Evart? Writing work mostly. Occasionally, he needs something written, and I happen to have a way with words people say. Okay, what do you write for him? Oh, nothing official, I assure you. Just essays for the newspapers. About Martinez, and how things are, and how they could be. Evrard and I have this long talk where... Sounds like he's his advertiser. Well, he tells his little pen man exactly what to say. It's commie propaganda, plain and simple. You should be ashamed of yourself. And are you a caviar socialist? I don't even consider myself a regular socialist. Politics is not really something I involve myself in, officer. Okay. So, how can you write the newspaper pieces if you're not political? Officer, I have a vivid imagination. <laughs> and like I said, I have a way with words. That's enough. No need to sink into politics. Hmm. Brian? He just fluffs it up. Thank you, Rhetoric. Of course. Don't sink into anything. Don't sink into any fight. Only sink into your couch. Hmm. You need to believe in something. Freedom, the people, Revishol, or money. I believe everyone has the right to think and do whatever they want. Even if it's nothing at all. I'm very adaptable. You know what he reminds me of? In the book Catch-22, there is an old man at the whorehouse who keeps telling him that he won the war. Or keeps telling uh, the protagonist that he won the war. Even though he is Italian and, you know, is Ita Italy was occupied by the, the uh, allies at that point. Um, and he, he believes this because he's alive. Italy is out of the war now and he spends all of his time at a whorehouse. So, <laughs> I mean, it, it's a fair cop. I mean, <laughs> come on. The carabineer closes his eyes like he's never going to open them again. Aww. Yeah, it's, it's, he's not wrong. Yeah, he's not right, but he's not wrong. That's exactly it. As one does. Right. 
He won his war. That's a good way to put it, Divine. Very good way to put it. But yeah, lovely book, by the way. If you guys haven't read Catch-22, brilliant book. Right, that's all for now. Thank you, officer, for being a consummate professional. You'll have this case wrapped up in no time. Random gnat flying around the room. I don't like him. Uh, right. Can I have a bite of your sandwich? I'm sorry, officer, but I really don't share food. Hmm. Nothing personal. It's just a principle. Okay. The only one you have. But don't be a dick, Gaston. <laughs> I can beg. Let's beg slightly. Believe me, officer. I wish I could help you, but I need this sandwich to keep my blood sugar stable. In my age, you need to pay attention to these things. Okay, we can't back out now. <laughs> I just wanted to push a little bit. I didn't want to plead. Um, okay, I can literally say, please just let's share it. Or you're not, sh you're not hearing me, man. I need the sandwich. Okay, let's plead. Fuck off. It's mine. <laughs> He jerks away, immediately startled by his own reaction. Sorry, officer. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it in a bad way. But the sandwich is mine. I'm not gonna share it. My sandwich. <laughs> I gotta play Team Fortress again. <laughs> when the dissidents come to rape our country, he hides. But try to get a bite of his dear sandwich and he gets claws. We are a special kind of vermin, Gaston. <laughs> we can convince him to give us a sandwich. <laughs> Screw it, let's try. A man so ah, principled well. about his sandwich calls for a principled approach. Time to get political. I too would tell you to fuck off. I consider you one of my closer friends at this point. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't like to share, you don't like to share. That's fine. We're just, we're just fucking with Gaston at this point. <laughs> Uh, what do you mean political, Rhetoric? This right here is political. Uh, the city's going to shit. Sooner or later, some foreign anarchist is going to steal your sandwich, and that's a fact. Your blood sandwich is a tool of the oppressors designed to keep the proletariat docile. <laughs> I love the writing in this. These options seem awfully fascist or communist. What if I don't want to say them? No, no, we're going to go communist. It's fine. I am not going to listen to this scummy comedy. <laughs> he utters through clenched teeth and turns his back to you. Uh -huh. The jolly man is scratching his head in bewilderment. He doesn't understand the situation. <laughs> Should have chosen option three. Uh, what's option three? Give me. Give me the sandwich for the proletariat. <laughs> Let me ask you, comrade, did you make the sandwich yourself? Uh, look, comrade, the overabundance this sandwich embodies is inherently evil. <laughs> we have to dive in further, don't we? Option three, rhetoric tells you to fuck off and say one of the fascist or communist things. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Uh, right. Uh, the overabundance of the sandwich... It's not your sandwich, it's our sandwich. Oh, no. <laughs> yes, the, it embodies in pure evil in the sandwich. I really don't understand how my sandwich could... <laughs> he starts but falls silent. Oh, no. <laughs> We're guilt-tripping an old man about his sandwich. Oh, God. How did we go this far? <laughs> Uh, I want your sandwich. Gimme. <laughs> uh, I love how the tiny moments become such a big deal. Me too. Like, I, I absolutely love that. Wouldn't you rather have a proper sandwich? A sandwich with a soul? <laughs> uh, I don't either. But wouldn't you rather eat a sandwich free of the bourgeois guilt baggage? Sure, let's go for that. I would rather just have this one, officer. 
It's really good. <laughs> He's so confused. Tell this lost comrade what the people's sandwich would be like. Distill the essence of the working man in a sandwich. Oh, good God. <laughs> My brain isn't helping. Um, I bet how much you want the sandwich makes it taste better. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, imagine a sandwich absolutely minimal in design. Sleek, efficient, simple. Imagine a sandwich covered entirely in fine metal dust from an industrial plant. <laughs> Be precise, I looked it up. Rhetoric says, say one of the fascist or communist things or fuck off. <laughs> I like rhetoric. Rhetoric is good. Um, okay. Distill the essence of the working man. Right. Imagine a sandwich covered entirely in fine metal dust from an industrial plant. That sounds horrible. You really don't know your way around the kitchen, <laughs> officer. Food and politics don't mix. I should have gone for the minimalist sandwich, it's true. Uh, okay, sorry. I, I fucked up about the sandwich. Okay, bye. <laughs> what the fuck was the point of that? Uh, right, what's this? Enormous bulls worthy of a real man. Oh, God. This is all terrible and I love it. Um, let's go see if there's anything at the... Yeah, the pawn shop. Also, there's this. What's this? Random bits of tear. Nothing. 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 Left toe dude needs merch. Red shirt with yellow sandwich nestled between a hammer and a sickle. <laughs> okay, I kind of want that now. Um, the shine on these sunglasses lasts a lifetime, officer. 100% guarantee. Three bucks for cool shades. Screw it. There we go. Also, let's dig in this trash can. There we go. A little bit more cash. Hot air rises from the sewer. Sour, acidic, and strangely comforting. I don't know why that would be comforting, honestly. Um, right. Where is you? The uh, <laughs> the sandwich hammer and sickle thing sounds hilarious. Kind of want to make stickers. We few, we happy few, will be the only six people to know what the fuck it even stands for. <laughs> Hello again. How can I help you? Wanted to ask about my missing gun again. Sure thing. Uh... Right, was the buyer a policeman? She didn't seem like a policeman. Although she kept referring to herself as a pig, which was odd. I found her interest in the gun. Truth be told, she was terrifying. So yeah, she is probably the lady driver. Hmm. Right, she must be one of my adoring fans. Maybe she's a vigilante. What if she intends to commit a crime and blame me? Uh, no. Adoring fans, that's what it is. Sure, man. He's doubtful, but doesn't see the point in contradicting a notion that is so dear to you. I mean, fair. Sure, man. Okay, so if I get electrochemistry higher, I can see what Roy is on. Do you know anything about the traffic menace on the loose? Traffic? I'm sorry, officer, but I don't drive. You didn't hear it when a guy drove over your roof? Now that I think about it, I do remember hearing a thunderous noise the other night. Some kind of powerful electric vortex hitting the shop and then moving on. Okay, sounds fascinating. Yeah, it was pretty wild. I didn't really know what to make of it, but I know it meant something. Good, good. 
Uh, punk painter that keeps talking shit in the rich boat lady. Um, maybe. I was thinking about that, actually. Because it's possible she bought it. But, yeah. Yeah, we can keep that on. That's fine. Uh, is that something Typical I can do? Martinez street light sits no. among assorted floor. I don't care about the street light right now. Okay, moving on. I'm a little surprised Kim's not back yet. Thought for sure, you know, 8.30 at night he'd be back. Right, let's go check in with the mirror. Kim is out for the whole day. Ah, gotcha. Traffic jam. Gotcha. Hopefully we can do something with the mirror. Obvious candidate is the flirty lorry driver, but I feel like it might be too obvious. Uh, possibly. But, I don't know. Hard to say. Right. Can I get in here? No. What if I used this? Still no. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. It's barely covered in steam anymore. It's your face in the mirror. Adorned with the expression. Oh, hey. That's actually getting pretty nice. So up to 28%. It's not too bad. Right. Encyclopedia. Dig deep into your mind to locate the source of the expression. It belongs in the new, the third decade of the current century. Enough time had passed from the failure of the revolution that, for a fleeting moment, Free market economy seemed like the ultimate, uncontested way of life for our species. Okay. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's two things Kim can be sent off to do. Either way, he's gone the whole day. Gotcha. Okay. Things were good. It was smooth sailing. People made gold and champagne-tinted interiors and facades to suit the times, calling this the new style. But more importantly... Disco happened. Ah, yes. Disco. For Revachol, your city. That meant only one thing. Guillaume La Million. Right. If it doesn't rhyme, you're not pronouncing it right. <laughs> ah, thank you, drama. Out of the dazzling swirl of disco music, in an open air, what de nuit, somewhere in Revachol West, Guillaume's blonde mane appeared on the screen. He sang some bullshit. Then he made the expression. Okay. So I stole the expression from someone else. Uh, I feel the need to add a clicking sound when I make it. Okay, but I adopted it. Why? Everyone loved it. Maybe you thought some of the stardust would rub off on you. Maybe it did. Either way, it's all gone now. Only the grimace remains. Hmm. I feel the need to add a clicking sound. The click is used to spur on a horse. It also features heavily in Guillaume Le Million's regional mega hit, Don't Worry, Your Pretty Little Head. Hmm. Finally figured out where Kuno's accent is from. Yeah, you mentioned that uh, last time we were playing. Uh, uh, can't remember what it was, though. Sometimes you like to add finger pistols to the mix because... Unlike Guillaume Le Million, <laughs> you are a police officer. It's your nifty little way to say, I'm armed and dangerous. Terrifying. Right, how long ago was the new? There is a vast ocean of time between right now and the expression. Looking good on you, or anyone. Two decades, if the calendar is to be trusted. Great. Humanity has run aground in that time. It's a different world now. The expression. Is a relic. So it's like somebody doing duck face 15 years from now and expect, expecting it to be a good idea. Gotcha. Okay, so anything else? Like who I am? Why did I become a cop? Why did I drink myself into oblivion? You have some understanding of the near history of disco, plus 
the trivia you've picked up along the way. Episodic memory, however, remains in the dark. It may never return. You should prepare yourself for that. Hmm. Thought he was a Brummie from Birmingham. He's actually a Scouser from Liverpool. Well, odd. He doesn't sound like most of the Liverpool accents I've heard, but okay, fair enough. I guess that's it then. It doesn't have to be. You can swoon over Guillaume and his champagne cork smile whenever you want to. Maybe some of the stardust will return. Interesting. We're up to 58%. Ooh. All right. Let's try to figure out. We can try to stop the expression. It's like something snaps in you. A nerve ending. A thought. A sadness. Your face in the mirror is suddenly clean of the leer that had distorted it for God knows how long. We are no longer leering at people. Just like that, it's over. The running gag that your life had become. A sad old man looks back at you. Oh, that's not better at all. <laughs> Son of a bitch. A mirror Can I... hangs on the bathroom mm. wall. It's barely covered in steam anymore. You see your face, such as it is without the expression. It's just hairy. No, that's that's so much worse. I'm kind of I kind of wish I would have saved it before then because now I'm sad. Right. Is this lady home yet? The door is closed. Still nothing. The nah, bell okay. in your ears received. Right. Well, let's return the bottles we picked up. And I thought for sure you could tell me about the woman staying in the room. Can I help you? Uh. Another thing. Gr eh, yes. Never mind. Okay, nothing for you. How about you? Anything you can tell me? I've got nothing to say to you. Why are you wasting your time? Are you the Hardy girl? Uh. She's not the Hardy girl. We know that already. Or do we? Sure, let's ask. I am not. You could be Liz. You could be anything. You could even be a model. Okay, Glenn's a little weird. Even a mod? Glenn, I went to law school. I am an attorney. Legit. People might take us more seriously as a cop. I mean, possibly. But this is just depressing now. Where before it was creepy. I'm not sure that's better. He's right. With a face like that, she could be on the cover of Le Debutante International. Hmm. Apparently electrochemistry wants me to say this. It's very rarely that we go in with anything electrochemistry has to say. But screw it. The cold look in her eyes speaks louder than words. She is not amused. Sorry. It's not her. She's not a hardy girl. Definitely. Thank you, drama. Right. Okay, so I don't have the expression anymore, which is definitely a major accomplishment. But now we're just sad. <laughs> I can't sleep yet. There's nobody I can really speak to other than the lorry driver and force him to give me information. And I'd really rather not. Um... Is this about the questions again? Because I don't really know anything. Right, fair enough. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Turn in stuff. The tear machines. Your bottles clunk. Excellent. Now then. You go there. You go there. Do I need any drugs? To the I left might, you know. some croissants and juice bottles. You see several packaged raincoats fill a low shelf. One is missing. The one you legally purchased. Can we fix the antique gun and shoot the racist lorry driver? I mean, that's a thought. Hmm. 
I wonder if uh, Rene would like me more if I put on the signal blue naval coat. I bet he would, you know. Reminds me, I think we have a few items we can actually look at, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, yeah. Had written open the fridge. Ah, uh, yes. Medical purposes of the pale. Medicinal purposes of the pale. The cover of this heavy tome features a number of esoteric symbols. Right. Open the book. Flipping through the book, you find a number of sections on the general benefits of the pale. A large pharmacopoeia makes up nearly half of the book. What's a pharmacopoeia? You come across the following explanation. While modern pharmacopoeia are continually updated by so-called experts based on the results of <laughs> clinical trials, readers will find assembled here the timeless wisdom relied upon by generations of traditional Seolite medicine practitioners, Mesk mystics, and Ilmaran folk doctors. Right, quacks. It's all quackery, in other words. Encyclopedia knows what's up. <laughs> maybe cat measure it. I mean, maybe. Finally, something to calm the angry spirits that have been plaguing you. Inland Empire is all for it, though. It seems to contain descriptions of the medicinal properties of various ingredients that may be gathered from the pale, as well as instructions for producing a variety of herbal remedies. Well, screw it. Is there anything about restoring lost memories? There are a number of co -like tonics that promise to improve your short-term memory. Ah, well. But nothing that speaks to your condition. I just want something that will soothe the relentless torment of my existence. <laughs> uh... What you're describing is booze. You don't need any herbs for that. Excellent. Anything about curing apocalyptic hangovers? There's nothing in here that speaks to hangovers directly. However... While browsing through the various descriptions, you become convinced that you could assemble something from the ingredients listed here. Want to give it a shot? Screw it. Let's see what you got, book. First, you need to choose a base ingredient. Hmm. Okay. Ginger root, fresh mint, or meadow rue. I kind of like the idea of mint. Maybe ginger. Let's go for mint. I quite like mint. Next, you'll need to combine the base ingredient with an appropriate vehicle. Okay. Boil it with tea made from birch bark. I'm going to shit myself silly. Mash it into a paste with some aloe vera extract. Doesn't sound tasty. Mix it with a dram of whiskey. That would be tasty, but we're trying to get off the booze. Um, right, mash it into paste. Lastly, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, pomegranate seeds. The mint and aloe vera make this poultice ideal for soothing inflammation and minor burns. It won't do anything for your hangover, though. Would you like okay. to try again? Okay, well. hold on. So, First, choose a base ingredient. Let's go for ginger. Next, you need to combine birch bark. Mostly. Is there anything else? And like ginseng. The ginger root will help with the nausea, and the birch bark tea will help you flush out the toxins. The ginseng should give you more energy as a nice bonus. Okay, brain. The very thought of this tea causes your muscles to relax and your mind hey. to clear. You're more present and in control than you were a moment ago. Savor the feeling. A tingle rushes down your spine, and you feel your toes uncurl. If only it could always be like this. Well, that's handy. Detox tea, right? Okay, put the book away. Uh, we also have a map of Martinet. The worn map features the patchwork grid of the streets of Martinez, with directions to appropriately touristy locations. Year 48 resides on the upper right corner. Okay, trace a path. Your finger moves through the various streets, across Rue de saint des Lane and Rue saint sipar over saint Brune and Martinez North. Okay. Finally, coming to a halt on the spot where you are currently standing, although the map gives no such indication itself. I mean, useful, I suppose. 
Why can I interact with this? Mug. What's there to read here? Not much. Apparently I can get into the mug talk. I don't remember the mug talk. It was several weeks ago. But it will not happen. The mug talk. Okay, fair enough. And that's just the photos of the tattoos. An intricate web of blue lines stretches across the torso. Okay, we've heard this already. It almost looks like the electronic patterns inside. Right. Who are you? Gone. Right, fair enough. Hmm. Oh, he he went away. I mean, the dude's gone. Why don't you, you know, rummage around in his truck? Because, you know, you can. Because he's gone. No? Too easy? Not gonna do that? Damn. It was worth a shot. People sleep at 9 or 10, depending. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's past 21, so it's probably time for going to bed for me anyway. Right. Let's see what the next morning brings us. Why can I talk to you, by the way? Okay, he's useless. Bottle of rum has been knocked over, beautiful dark liquid spilling out. That sugary black rum stain on the counter makes you teary-eyed with joy. It's almost touching how syrupy and sticky it is. How long have you been up already? I think Joy stays up late. Also, maybe another character or two you haven't met. Owen oh, Kuno never sleeps. 48 degrees out tonight. Pretty sure a month ago it was 88. Uh, no, it's just finally October, Durgas. <laughs> I think it's about that cold here tonight, matter of fact. So, yeah. How long have I been up? Uh, two hours. An hour would have been bad. Two hours is mystical. You have truly wiped out all trace of yourself. If you haven't thought about rum and lemonade yet. Ooh, rum and lemonade. That does sound good, matter of fact. American temperatures always make me double take. <laughs> Let's see, 48 would be... I think about 10 degrees Celsius, if I remember right. Possibly. Uh, here it's been oscillating between hot and cool the past few weeks. Here too, it's been... Um, it's been unbearably hot and then windy as shit... And then uh, pouring down rain, depending on the hour. So, you know. Uh, I've been thinking about it all the time. Actually, should I be thinking about this? Looks like drinking hasn't turned out too well for me. Now that you mention it, I do need a rum and lemonade. Hmm. Drinking hasn't turned out well for me. Maybe you haven't turned out well for your drinking. <laughs> Have you thought about that? <laughs> Get a goddamn rum and lemonade to yourself, boy. Or better yet, lick that stain off the counter. I can lick it, I cannot lick it, or I can lick it, but just a little bit. <laughs> 15 to 20 C one week, 28 to 30 another week, and back again. Oh, geez, yeah. I think it's finally settling on cool from here on out. I hope so. Right. Do we want to be a complete embarrassment to ourselves? That's the only question we have. Because <laughs> we could lick it a little bit. Or we could lick it a lot. Or we could just not lick it. Warming up on my side of the world, not that the city is getting a message. Well, yeah, fair enough, Divine. Oh, it's okay, Kronos. Hi. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Kronos woke up. How much of an alcoholic are you in this? Uh, Put, put it this way, Daragaz. You drank so much for so long that you don't remember who you are or anything about the world. So... <laughs> lick it a lot <laughs> we're trying to be a better person but everybody wants me to lick it a lot um trying not to be a drunk hi it's okay it's okay although kim isn't here I really don't want you to lick it, but lick it. Uh, flip a coin. I like that. Hold on. Okay, we're licking it. 
You press your tongue against the counter. The stain is crusted at first, but after a couple of licks, it starts to melt like a snowflake. God. If snowflakes were made of spiced <laughs> black oil, maybe it's your imagination, but there's already some lemonade in it too, and some human hairs. Oh, good God. Right. It would go well with those cigarettes. That's a great combination. Well, now we need to find booze to... Well, that's fun. Okay. Upstairs we go. Hi, Kronos. Imagine Kim's judgment. Kim would be so sad and grumpy. What you doing? What you doing? Huh? Are you just over here to steal water? Okay, you steal water. The hair in it is off-putting, but at least the alcohol kills the bacteria. I mean, kills most bacteria. He licked it multiple times. <laughs> I just choked on my rum and peach tea. Uh, oh, it's okay, Kronos. You're okay. It is now Kronos time. It's okay. It's okay. I do need to hit escape, though, because time is passing in the game. <laughs> Kitty stream, exactly. This is now a Chronos stream. Chronos is the one that's controlling the stream. Oh, yes, you. Yes, you. Time waits for no cat. <laughs> Actually, time seems to be paused while I'm standing in this room, so that's interesting. Didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> it's okay. Oh. Time stops except in dialogue. Really? I hadn't noticed that. That's very useful to know. Time goes very slowly when you're not in conversation. Okay, that makes sense. No, are you okay? Yeah. You want down? Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Get all of Kronos' fur off my hands. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Doing an experiment on time. That's what we're doing. Totally not just pausing the stream to pet Kronos. <laughs> Will that four become a five? I wonder if it's literal time when you're not in a conversation. Although I think it's been more than a minute, so I kind of doubt it. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking the uh, the time doesn't actually pass. You're okay. I need to get the mouse, though. You're sitting on the mouse. You need that? Hey. I, I need the mouse. Hey. Thank you. Right. Let's go to bed. The bed is still cold from the broken window, and not too inviting, but it's yours. You've earned it. Randomly, there's a pretty dead mall in town. Okay. Like zombie dead? And go to sleep. The bed is still cold from the wind blowing in from the broken window. The mattress creaks as you close your eyes and try your hardest to fall asleep. Okay. As far as I can tell, the food court only has one thing still open, a great a great steak and potato. Covered in hair. Do I go and try it? I mean, honestly, steak and potatoes sound amazing. But it is in a mini mall that's dead. So... <laughs> Flip a coin, hippophant. <laughs> Kronos, hey, leave it alone. There you go. Do we get to sleep? Here we are hey. again, my broken bot. The waves are coming, carrying you away. But you can't go. No, you have to stay always half aware of yourself. Limbic system is so creepy. You're not cooperating. 
Brother man. Why? It's your disgusting body. Even through your sleep, you feel a vague discomfort suffusing it. Your belly and your sides are unpleasantly tender. You wish you could curl up into a fetal ball of safety. But you cannot because of the pain. The pain? Brain. That pain in your right side is your enlarged liver, by the way. Ah. As for your kidneys, you've really been compounding the damage lately. <laughs> oh, good. <sighs> I'm wrong. They got evicted this summer. Oh, no. Why is the dead mall evicting residents? Uh, probably for whoever owns it. They can use it as a tax write off that way. Because then they can write off the tax or the income that they would be getting. It's also why you'll see a lot of mini malls around here empty. Great Steak and Potato is a food court cheesesteaks chain. Ooh. It's okay, Kronos. You're okay. They were evicted for not paying rent. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so that, that mall is just dead several times over then. Nice. Fair enough. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fair. It's okay, Kronos. You're okay. I don't know why he's extra cuddly tonight, but he is. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? <laughs> also, apparently I need to brush you down again. You have so much hair flying everywhere. Yes, you. So how's everybody doing? <laughs> Goblin Cat loves the love. He does. Oh. I have Googled cheese steak. My previous mental conception was completely wrong. Oh, Divine, what'd you think they were? Because, yeah, a, a lot of people get that wrong. <laughs> you okay now? Hmm? No? Yes? Yeah. There you go. Steak wrapped around cheese or cheese wrapped around steak? I mean, that doesn't sound bad either, to be honest. <laughs> it wouldn't be a cheese steak, but yeah, it doesn't sound bad. Simultaneously, an epic meal, mealtime monstrosity. <laughs> I approve. I approve entirely. I always assumed it was a steak with cheese melted on top. I mean, it's 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 sliced and chopped steak, usually very very thin, like sandwich meat, um, and then fried and then topped with cheese and then put into a roll of some sort. Fah, so much cat hair. Right, more. Every cell in your body is moaning in agony, asking, what did we ever do to you? <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm being empathic with the cells of my body. I'm sorry, cells. It's all me. It's all my fault. It's all the system's fault. The system failed me. Or the body's worthless anyway. No one does anything nice to it. Um, let's be pathetic. The body's worthless. And why might that be the case? What lava lights on such a bloated corpse to be? Ah, uh, limbic system's getting downright cruel. Um, these are my just desserts. I will enjoy this pain with dignity. Hey, what is this? I was on the express to Zoro Zero Home. What? I'm an artist, liver damages my art. 
I think I need medical attention. Um, Express to Zero Home. Okay, that's weird enough that I think it might be interesting. Let's check that out. Now you've gone off the rails, baby. Now you're stuck sitting here by the tracks, admiring the wreck around you. You just can't help it, looking at yourself. The sum total of your accomplishments. Okay. Thank you, Reptilian Brain. You're just stuck here, in the half-world. Could try looking at other people, really looking. But why would you want to start doing that? Okay. Uh, I will. I'm looking at people all the time. I like them. I mean, I like some of them, I guess. Um... Yeah, let's try looking at other people. Sure you do. They're all so friendly, aren't they? I mean, by and large. Some of them are. Some of them are nice. Others are scared. Cat hair floating everywhere. <laughs> right. At least they're interesting. Each one has a process just like yours. Running in the space between their ears. Full of secrets. I, I hate to break it to everybody, but I don't have conversations with parts of my brain before reacting to folks. I don't know if you do, but yeah. <laughs> what do you think you're doing right now? Coming to some greater awareness? Look at all these lights blinking in and out of existence. Thoughts! You're just pretending that you're asleep, even to yourself. <laughs> While the world goes on without you. Interesting. Let it. Let it. Okay. My body is turning against me. But it never seems to let you go, does it? Time to rise and wipe that shining sweat off as best you can. Gather your bearings. Rock and roll. Huh. Thank you, Olympic System. Open your eyes. I mean, yeah, that's that's a thing, bathroom. <laughs> right, we have recovered. Uh, isn't it today that we can do? Yeah, the water lock. Uh. Should be done Wednesday morning. Today's Wednesday, isn't it? Day three? Might be Wednesday. Anything new in the mirror? A mirror hangs on the bottom. Nope. Okay. Any chance you're around? The door is closed. Still nothing. The murmuring. Okay. Nothing to do with the door. Right. Uh huh. Ah, uh, my allergies are going insane. Also, who the hell are all you people? Hi, Kim. Yes. Okay. Who are you? The woman in an RCM patrol officer's uniform winces as she notices you. Kim is back! <laughs> this is apparently the horse face woman. I would really prefer not to talk to you right now. Um. Hold on, you're a cop with the RCM? Yes, I am. I'm a cop too. I know. Here's the real deal. It's hard to tell whether he's sarcastic or sincere, but if you had to guess, you would say the lieutenant is being sarcastic. I mean, fair. I'm on a murder investigation. Are you the cavalry? I'm definitely not the cavalry. Okay. Um, everything all right? Why don't you want to talk to me? I don't know. 
I mean, uh, why would I want to talk to you? Have I wronged you? I've done that to a lot of people. Uh, yeah, fair. No, you haven't wronged me. It's okay. She shakes her head and breathes out. Something changes in her. It's pity. Pity comes over her. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's talk. What did you want? Brain. Mm. What does one talk about with a fellow officer? Uh, what precinct are you from? What precinct? She sighs. Am I from? God, he doesn't know. Thank you, Esprit de Corps. Fucking deranged lunatic. <laughs> Excuse me. <coughs> ah, sorry about that. That was probably very loud. Ah. Right, man with sunglasses. He says I'm a deranged lunatic. That's nice. Sunglasses wearing man pushes through his teeth. You're getting an intellectually unsatisfying vibe from this conversation. <laughs> Maybe you're doing something wrong. Hmm. Thank you, Dergos. Hold on. Let's add to the sneeze counter. There we go. <laughs> uh, you're the police, right? Cool. So am I. I don't. I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Judith. Wait, is he police? Me? No, I'm just a man with sunglasses. I like wearing sunglasses inside. Sunglasses and a fucking wig. Yeah, why are you wearing a wig? Okay. <laughs> Logic has nothing to add to that. Really? Really? <laughs> what are you, the police, doing here? I'm just looking out for... You? No one. I'm just a man with sunglasses. And you are. Uh. Say nothing. I just want to do my job. That's all. Why would the police be here? I'm the police, right? Okay, she says something quietly and looks away. Okay. You, sunglasses you man. You look like shit. I mean, yeah. Your ruffled face reflects in the man's sunglasses. And I don't mean that as a metaphor. Uh, yeah, last couple days have been rough. Oh, don't be so modest. We're looking at several months worth of damage here. Kind of a miracle you're still up and at it, to be honest. Okay. Oh, come on, Jean. It looks like it's been a rough week on him. I'm guessing these two are from my precinct. Yeah, apparently he's wearing a wig. Um, It's not just this wig. What do you want? Eh. There's something about this guy that matches with a face in your head. A similar but different face. Not seeing it? Apparently it's just this yellow mop on his head. He might be wearing a disguise. Okay, so... Cool shades, are you wearing a disguise? <laughs> ah, screw it, let's do that. Yes, it's a hobby of mine. He looks at you inquisitively. As if waiting for some kind of reaction or response. Something to click. It's not happening, though. I can Who also just ask guy? Kim. Uh, right, let's try the Spear Decor. There's something Damn it. that binds you to him. Some kind of an outfit, maybe. A uniform. Ah. Right. Firefighter's uniform, animal control uniform, a nurse's uniform. You know what? We're going to fall on our ass. We're going to fall with style. Nurse uniform. Yes. Nurses. Why not? <laughs> this is going to sound really weird, but are you at any chance a male nurse? Why, yes. Yes, I am a male nurse. How could you tell? Uh, could you like take a look at me? I've been through a lot lately. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could. Unfortunately, I'm a neck and chin nurse. What you need is a head nurse. <coughs> Sorry I couldn't help you out, buddy. Wow. That there is a form of severe sarcasm. And <coughs> it's not actually a Ah, nurse. Jesus. Ah, ha, ha. Sorry about that. You can sometimes be a real asshole, you know that? Surprisingly, the words don't seem to be directed at you. 
Hmm. Uh. Kim, who is this guy? Mm -mm. I'm not getting involved in this. <laughs> it's not my style, he thinks, glancing at the man in sunglasses and the woman beside him. Oh boy, they're mad at him. No wonder. He just doesn't recognize them. Okay. I've got questions for you as I am a cop. About what? You don't look like a cop. You know what you look like. Uh... <laughs> uh... Like a man down in his luck, trying real hard here. A revolutionary, sack of shit, a prophet. Yeah, let's say we're a revolutionary. No, not like a revolutionary. He looks away. Now will you answer questions? No. He says calmly and just keeps staring at you. Why not? Because it's not my job. Why don't you go and fucking do yours and solve this damn hanging? Okay. If you don't want to answer questions, maybe you want to hear me say things. Actually, I don't want to hear you say things. Okay. Come on, Jean. Aha, his name is Jean. Okay, say things. I want to hear you say things. Okay, I'm doing this investigation. A man is hanged. So, do you know who hanged him? Mm, technically, yes, actually, but... Um... Not yet. Yeah, I can see that. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. Why are you? Gives you an odd look. Brain. It's like you felt it would be intellectually stimulating and would lead somewhere. A custom even? Strange. Okay, so this guy's gonna be my partner then. Who knows why we do the things we do? Somehow, bouncing those ideas off the man with sunglasses felt calming, like you've done it before. Okay. Oh my god, there's more. You want something more? What is it? Apparently I can talk about the hanged man again, but I don't have anything else in a spirit of course, so... Yeah, I see ya. Watch out for yourself, loser. Right, my partner's a dick. Got it. Uh, let's pay for our room ahead of time. <laughs>